this is gonna be a really special birthday get ready with me because if you follow me on social media, you'll know I had tonsillitis on my actual birthday. I was really ill, that's why I've not been able to upload. So a few days later, I celebrated with the girls and this is what I got up to. And so the first thing I wanted to do was just make my hair look nice as I've been feeling so grotty. So I'm using these Herbal Essences shampoo and conditioner. I love the crimson orange one. I know everybody's raving about these at the moment, but this is my favorite one. It really reminds me of Satsumas and I love the smell of the new range they bought out. I feel they've really upped their game with smells of shampoo and conditioners. And then I love to use my in shower tangle teaser. This is a really good thing to have in your shower. It's really gentle on your hair, but it's so good for getting rid of knots. I find it really difficult to do this when I'm out of the shower. It's a really top tip if you get knotty hair. And I just love how clean and fresh my hair feels after using the shampoo and conditioner. And then I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea because I haven't even been able to drink tea when I was ill. I've got a subscription to Tea Tourist. I love it. It's like a beauty box but for tea. Every month you get different ones. So if you're a tea lover like me, you are going to love this. I actually have a code to save you guys money. So I'll leave that below. And today I'm choosing black tea and dandelion because dandelion is really good for digestion. I love loose leaf tea. It tastes so much better than normal tea bags. And I'm having a bit of a dance, putting some music on, getting ready. I have felt so ill. I just wanted to celebrate dancing. So the first thing I wanted to do is sort my skin out. It's been so tired and just dry and awful. Tonsillitis is just dreadful. So I'm tying my hair back with my Invisi Bubble, which is really good so you don't get kinks. And then I'm using my First Aid Beauty Caffeine Matcha Face Wipes. Oh my goodness, these smell incredible. I actually have to smell them before I put them on. I love them so much, but they're really good at removing dirt. And then I'm gonna use my Instant Glow Sheet Mask from Declior. I'm a huge fan of sheet masks at the moment because they're so easy to do. You don't need to bother washing them off. And I love this one from Declior. First of all, I love Declior skincare and the smells. It's so good for your skin. But this one comes in two parts, so it really fits your face perfectly. I'm having my tea, just having a bit of a me moment. My birthday is all about me and just relaxing and I really needed this face mask. It made such a difference to hydrating my skin. And then I'm gonna use my Origins Ginseng Eye Cream, which, surprise, surprise, I've talked about this for months. It's my favorite. Not only is it a really hydrating eye cream, but you can see how highlighting is. It really illuminates under the eye. It's really good if you have dark areas or if you just need a pick-me-up like I do. I really love this. And then I'm using this NARS Smooth and Protect Primer. This is new from NARS and it has SPF 50 in it. So I wore this every day when I went skiing. I love the consistency of this, but I love the fact it has SPF in. And then I'm using this new Power Fabric Foundation from Armani. I was really excited to try this because I love the luminous silk that they do. This shade is a little bit too light for me because I got a tan when I went away skiing, but actually when I blended it, it looks so flawless and beautiful, and I really am so impressed with that foundation, so I think it might well replace my luminous silk. So I'm just brushing my eyebrows and gonna fill them in a little bit. This is my Anastasia Duo that I talk about all the time. I really need to find another product instead of this, but I haven't found anything as good as this range. I buy it in Sephora when I'm out in America, and I love this brow one to just lighten and set my eyebrows. And then I'm going to use this Smashbox eyeshadow palette. This is my go-to eye palette at the moment, really, for smoky eyes. I've always been quite honest about the fact that I'm not comfortable doing smoky eyes, and I find this palette really easy to use because the pigmentation is so nice. It's really good if you just like to play around with colors like I do but you're not so confident and then I'm going to use this Bobbi Brown golden pink eye shimmer long wear stick it's beautiful this is one of my favorite products that Bobbi Brown do it just really makes the inside of your eyes pop and then I'm going to use this bye bye concealer by IT Cosmetics I found this on QVC and it's really good at just leaving a flawless finish under your eyes on your nose wherever you have blemishes I love it and then I'm setting this all in place with my MAC Studio Fix Powder. Again, a cult hero staple for me from MAC. It's just really great to set your makeup in place. And then I'm using this new California blusher from Benefit. This is really fun to use. It's pink with a little bit of gold in it. I'm really gonna have a lot of fun in the spring and summer using this. I think it's a really pretty color. It's one of my favorite things Benefit have bought out recently. And then I'm using this Shimmer Brick in Bronze from Bobbi Brown. Again, another cult favorite. And because my foundation was a little bit lighter, I'm putting 
putting a little bit more on than I would usually to warm it up and you can see it just really gives you such a nice glow. For my lips I'm using a lip gloss from MAC, they've teamed up with James Caliados for the spring and summer, this is a beautiful one, it's an opalite. MAC lip glosses for me are some of the best lip glosses out there and I love how shimmery and sparkly they are and they don't feel too sticky when you're on your lips so I love them. And then I'm using my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, this is the same amazing product but they've got brand new packaging and I always use this to set my makeup in place otherwise it comes off. And then I'm using this Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, a mascara that I have just loved for the past year. It's probably one of the best mascaras out there for getting that really big black spidery look. To be honest, if I was going out into town, I would spend 10 minutes more on my eyes and you can really make them look amazing with these, but I love this mascara. And then I'm using my GHG Curl Tongs. I got these recently. I was so excited to try them. Although I love my curling wand, I really like tongs for volume. So I'm putting on some Sebastian Trilliant just for heat protection. This is so important to do if you're heating your hair because it protects it. And these are really easy to use. You just curl it up, pop them out. I'm using my Tresemme Make Waves absolute favourite hairspray. This gives you so much volume as well and sets it all in place and I just really, really like the look of using tongs. So I'm going to start to use these more and more and they lasted for a couple of days so I was really pleased with that. And then I did something really special for my birthday. I actually had a glow pamper party. So instead of going out into town, I got some of the girls round and we had a really nice relaxing pamper party. Glow pamper parties are amazing because you can put in where you live and they'll come to your house. You can have facials, nail painting, massages. So I organized it with the girls and we just had such a lovely pamper night. So I'm gonna put all the information below because for me, I don't always like going out into town. Now I actually prefer staying at home. My friend and Natalie made the most gorgeous gluten-free cookies and it was such a nice evening just to spend time with my friends at my house and relax and glow pan parties are a really nice idea if you just want to get everyone together and get some food in the house. It ended up being a bit of a puppy party as well because most of us have dogs as well so the dogs relaxed and I got the most amazing gluten-free birthday cake. This was made by a girl called Claire Elizabeth and I'm going to put her website Below. She is the ultimate cake making guru. It was gluten free, white chocolate, and just amazing. It even had a teapot on, and you guys know how much I love tea, so that's definitely the best birthday cake I've ever had. Um, my friends were just so lovely, they spoiled me so much. So when they all left, I gave them a Origins Flower Fusion sheet mask so they could take the pampering home with them as well. I love these because they use the power of plants to really hydrate and nourish. And then it ended the night just having an extra bit of me time, and that was my birthday. And I I really wanted to share it with you guys. Bye!